Hi folks, this is Natalie with a new screencast related to Drupal and today we're gonna talk about, well, Agar. I can't seem to stay away from that topic. And recently I have moved my site, friendlydrupal.com, to Barracuda Agar, and I think it's a good time as any to actually make a tutorial about that. Now what is Barracuda? If you look at, on their page, uh, well actually I view Barracuda as a kind of a high performance distribution of Agar. Maybe I shouldn't say distribution, but, but that's what it looks like. Instead of a standard LAMP stack, Barracuda is using LAMP stack, which is Nginx instead of Apache and um, MariaDB instead of MySQL. And if you've ever wanted to try Nginx, but didn't feel comfortable installing it because it's somewhat different from Apache, then using Barracuda is a good option because it does all that for you. It installs all components and Agar itself. And on top of that, it also works with Octopus, uh, which is um, another script that installs kind of uh, micro instances of Agar on the same server that are independent from each other and it would also install different um, distributions of Drupal such as, um, here's the list, such as Acquia or um, OpenHM. Installing Barracuda is actually very simple. You do need, um, obviously, a Linux server. If you're not sure if your system is compatible, you can check with requirements here. I'm going to be using Ubuntu on um, the virtual box and all the instructions are contained in this file and, and this is just a couple of lines of commands that you need to run in uh, your terminal. You do need a fresh install and you need to switch to root. So let's get the script. Next, we need to modify it and edit email address, IP, and hostname. I am going to be using localhost here. And um, my host name is I will add um, Edgar front end here. forgetting about that. So the IP should be one twenty seven dot o dot one dot one my host name is whatever I had in my host file and my front is again what I just added it could actually be the same as the host name I forgot about email
I'm not exactly sure what's my local email, but it doesn't really matter because you'll be able to find it in your system anyway. All right, um, at this point you can actually try running uh, the script and uh, see if you get any errors. Okay, it looks like we did get an error related to the DNS setup. So let's let's see what our command um, let's see what the command returns. Um, let's edit the host files again. Let's try running the script again. It looks like I'm still getting the error and truth be told, it happened to me every time I tried to install Barracuda, even on an external server with all the domain names properly set up. So what you can do is just disable the DNS check. And if you haven't run the script before, you can do it right in uh, the script. But keep in mind that if you have tried to run it, Barracuda script creates the configuration file. So next time you run it, that's the one, that's the uh, configuration that it's going to use and it overrides uh, anything that you actually have in this file. So, oops. So now you actually have to modify the config file. Let's save it. And alternatively, you can just delete that file and um, modify the Barracuda script itself. Let's try running the script again. And now we are in business. You can review the Barracuda message before you actually proceed with the installation. It's going to take some time depending on your connection. So I will show you a few steps along the way. But once it gets running, it's really straightforward. Uh, I usually just press enter here. Okay, that's another error we're getting about SMTP. I really don't think I need this on the local server. So I'll just, so I will disable the test just like I did for the DNS setup. So let's edit the file again. It's getting a bit tiresome. Should be faster this time because the script has already installed all the major packages. Chive Manager is a database manager and a lightweight alternative to PHP MyAdmin. You can install it if you want to. Next, um, the installation process is asking us about the firewall. Well, um, since uh, right now I'm installing Agar on a local virtual server, I'm going to skip this step. However, I do recommend enabling the firewall on any of your production servers. 
The script instructs you to enter without entering the password uh, the first question and then enter the password twice. So let's press enter right now and then set the password. I don't disallow root login for my servers, but it might be a better policy from the security standpoint. So the installation is over and we're not even going to be charged for the convenience. To log into Agar for the first time, we should use the link provided by the installation script. Barracuda has set up connection to the Agar interface through SSL, so the browser is going to be asking us. So you will see this uh, message about the security certificate. If it bothers you, you can actually get your own certificate for your server. And we see the standard Agar interface. Let's change the password. And now you can use this just the way you would um, vanilla Agar installation. Keep in mind though that Barracuda Agar is using PHP 5.2 as opposed to 5.3, which is um, default on the latest versions of Ubuntu. After you have installed Barracuda, you can optionally install Octopus, which will provide um, satellite instances of Agar, which is nice if you have privileged clients that you know, need their own version of Agar hosting platform independent from each other. Or if you have a group of developers who would want to work uh, again independently from each other. Or simply if you want to try uh, different Drupal distributions without downloading each of them separately. Thanks for watching this screencast. If you have any questions or suggestions for the future tutorials, feel free to drop me a comment at friendlydrupal.com. Good luck with your Drupal adventures!